like every evening I check my mail and sometimes based on the mail I would open it in the car when it comes out. It's like getting a gift and I would always open my gifts wherever I get them. It's like I I'm eager. So I open this letter and it's coming from Jamaica and it's I realize it's from my mother, so I got excited and I'm all giggling. And then I opened and I saw daughter. I just started crying. And I read the first part, it says daughter. It's been a thrill to watch you on this journey of becoming your own person, trying your wings, finding your voice, making your faith your own. You have so much going for you and a world of opportunity ahead of you. Can't stop crying, and then it's in my in, it's in my favorite color. I'm like, how can someone find this perfect card? This is so perfect. It's just like this card is just me. It is for me. I don't know, but I mean, this card is just too perfect. My favorite color, the right words, everything. Couldn't be more. Couldn't be more proud or thankful for you. Ugh. Especially on your day when memories of your grand entrance into our world take center stage. What a beautiful, precious gift you have been. I mean, no one knows my journey. Like, my journey has been so. It's like a roller coaster, <laughs> to be honest. It's so. It's difficult, it's hard, it's everything you can imagine, but it's beautiful. It's overwhelming, it's awesome. It makes me sad. It makes me so happy. It says love you enough. No one has ever imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. I mean, I love the Lord so much. No one could ever imagine. Like, if you see me, <laughs> you may not, you can't really tell. But I love him so much. In the sense where I, when I pray, at the end I would say I love you, Lord. Literally. It's like I'm saying a love letter to him. And I could never imagine where I am now that I would be I have dreams bear in mind I have high dreams higher than where I'm at right now but like still I didn't picture this but indeed no one I can ever imagine what God has in store for you I mean your time is coming I thought I would have my masters already but it didn't work that way that's okay it's great you understand your time is your time like don't question why just tell god thanks because if i was doing my masters i would be in my final year which means i would not be where i'm at right you now so what can i say thank god for the things that he has given us the things that he has taken away from us and the things that we're about to receive in the name of jesus we claim everything that god has in store for us and we thank god for allowing us to fulfill our god-given talent and purpose amen also before I start preaching, it says, asking God to bless you with a wonderful day, an amazing year, and an incredible life. Happy birthday from all of us. And you know what made it even sweeter? My mom. It says, Mom Denise. Because, and it's her handwriting. Then it says, Sister Kalia, her handwriting. Dad, Keith, his handwriting. Brother Xavier, his handwriting. So everybody played a part. And I am so grateful. I would not trade this for a million dollars like this has made my day it has done so much right now to me and I wasn't expecting it I talk to them almost every day <laughs> but to see this, this is just like little things it's the smallest thing that you could ever do for me that I appreciate not that, I, that I don't appreciate the big things but I really value small things no one could ever know. No one would ever understand. But like this right now, it has done a lot. I don't know if I'll ever stop crying. <laughs> but thank you, guys. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> you can never tell either. <laughs> of course, you can tell. Like anybody who knows me and don't know Chin and Trey means that we haven't spoken a lot, and you still don't know me. Because you would know about Chin and Trey, <laughs> who are my sister and my brother. So, thanks again to my wonderful family that I love and I will do anything for. Love you guys. Mwah.